folks, this is Tony Aguilar again, and we have another unboxing or an unbagging. Um, again, this is part of my um, part of my Barbarossa 1941 project, and as you can see, I'm not even going to tell you who I got this from because it's uh, pretty obvious. And we'll see what we got here, and hopefully, it's the right thing. And there it is. This is a. Pegasus models, Pegasus Hobbies, two pack of uh, BT7s, 172nd scale. And um, let's open these. These are quick build kits. And um, you know, here's the side here 12 parts per tank, molded in green plastic. Pegasus Hobbies. And um, unfortunately, they are made you know where. But anyhow, um, let's take a look at what's inside here. And we can do a size comparison of these. We do have a BT7M model from, uh, from BP Cast that I did, so we can compare size wise and how they, they look. The shrink wrap that's kind of brittle and noisy. Okay, let's take a look at that. Now, I already like these type of boxes better than the ones that open the side because if you need to put something away, they don't. There's no fear of it falling out. And let's take a look at what we got here. Now, these have no crew members uh, on the tanks, and they also have no decals. So that is an important thing to bring up. Uh, you don't want to get these and find out they don't have that stuff on here. So here is one of the holes. These look to be pretty brittle. So we'll have to be careful with them. So there's two vehicles that come in here. And these are relatively inexpensive. And depending on who you get them, on what day you get them, Amazon stuff changes a lot. I've seen these as cheap as maybe $12, $11.99 maybe. And up to like 20. So they do vary a lot depending on whatever reasoning they have. So um, this is, let's take one of these holes out. I like to do this comparison. When we have things we can compare it to, it might be something that's useful to you guys. Here is the hole to one of them. And now I don't know how accurate this is. Okay, I'll be honest with you. This is a 20 millimeter model from BP Cast that is. 25 years old probably but um and it seems to be kind of small anyways but uh they're significantly larger um and this is the same this is a bt7 as well uh it does have the earlier turret there are um the bt7 the bt5 turret and the early bt7 is the same turret i understand is a, is a t26 and um which is, I actually prefer the more, the conical uh, turret, but this is the model that they, they make here. And um, it is the common to it. So this is an, an earlier model BT-7, uh, sometimes called a BT-8 or BT-7M. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually normally only called a 7M or an 8 when it has the later conical turret as well. But it's basically this vehicle with the, with the earlier turret. And... Um, and here is the, the pieces that come with it. They, they are pretty brittle pieces, so we'll have to be careful taking them apart, especially the cannons. One piece instructions. Um, I don't know what the fin finish is on this. Um, it's probably not going to be as good as the Plastic Soldier Company stuff that I have, which is just downright amazing. But it is a three-man tank. And, um, you know, I've got some extra crew figures. I might put some crew figures on one of the commanders. As one of the commanders, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. It's a two-man turret, so if you put a commander peeking his head out, guess what? The cannon's not being fired because he also doubles as the as the gunner. So one piece instructions. Uh, what does it say? Eleven pieces, twelve pieces for each one. Pretty easy to put together. You guys will see these put together soon, and. Um, we can go out and look. We've got details and rivets on the on the back. So, um, anyhow, I like these one piece tracks. It saves time, and you can spend the extra time painting. 
and detailing it. So, well, there you have it. Um, BT7 by Pegasus. I have not put a Pegasus kit together yet. So this will be a new one for me and look forward to it. Okay, folks, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.